This is Die Sporting Network. What, what, what. Lane. But let's see, today's different, and the coaching staff of Weston mentioned to me earlier that they, 
more experienced team, and let's see if that dividend ends today. The engineers get the ball first. Last time we seen Polly was that amazing game against St. Francis. As the ball rolls in, Asia Petty just get things going here. The early 2-0 advantage here for the defending two-time Baltimore City District 9 champion Polly. The engineers just here, I got a 20-1. 21 and 1, actually, excuse me. We've seen that only defeat. As that goes back, Robinson to the 10. Only 4 0 lead for the Lady Engineer. We've seen that only defeat against the Riverdale Baptist. What a game that was early in the season. Holly's got some big wins against Pilate. And they're like that. Three, no good. Engineers have lost in city play in the last three years. I think Weston was the last thing to defeat them. Inside. That one missed. <coughs> Back the other way here. Little well, low mama. Seeing Weston against National Christian Academy early in the year. What a matchup that was. She came down to the wild. Out at McDonough. Going inside. That one went over to Ben for Henson. And the ball back to Bobby. This is Chris Armstrong be joining me momentarily. Robinson went up, no good. Wilson, and the ball was snatched away by Pryor, but then it was turned over the same way. So Polly will keep possession. Shot clock at 18, ink clock at 626. Wilson, try, shooting two. No, ball of travel. Ball going back to the top. Four nothing lead here for Polly. Washington has the ball now. Johnson back over. Ray back to Johnson. Over the prop. Back again. Had a move there, but didn't finish it. Back. Drive. And it went out wide. Polly gets it back. Going up and lead here for the lady engineer. Back here to Hill Fieldhouse. Inside! Shooting two is Patty. Donald Monster, number 21, Jay Miles, her first. Tate first. At the line, shooting number 12, Asia. Shooting two. Two shot foul here for the senior. Transfer from IND. That first shot goes in. The pile again trying to three peak. It was here two years ago when they finally got over the hump over once. And last season. Two teams met in this game again right here in the Holly prevailed in a very close matchup. It's a three-point win for the Lady Engineers. Fire. That, that's a three. That one tipped and missed. The Duff still not on the board yet. Turn over. was all right. He said it was a carrying violation. Betty was holding her hip as well. It looked like she's over. Fat. Three ball. Got it! Hill gets Weston on the board, and it's a three point game. Back over to Robinson. A three. Back on, no good. Offensive rebound to Robinson. Taking it all the way to the basket, no good. Nice hustle there by Pry to try to save it. But it's going to stay with the Lady Engineer. So early. On the floor, number 10, the senior, Harris Ferguson. Ferguson in the game now for Polly. Looking to inbound. Do. Over. Right in the game and scores two. Eight three lead here for the Lady Engineer. Back inside. Pryor 
Clark missed it high. It's just Ava Weston is up. Johnson tried to pass a friendly pop back the other way. Robinson scores. Went down hard though. And shake it off. Get a substitution and maybe. 10 3 game. Left here in the first goal. Back. Robinson is looking. Towns, that's a three. Spins out there for Clark. Yes. Three. No good. Again, back to Pilot. Back. Inside. It's going back to what? Six 
game. for Clark and she gets it in. Time out here by Weston. Down 16 to 6. That's the end of the first quarter here is coming nigh. Weston just took the time. I really think they need to do on offense. From what I've just seen, I just think Polly is moving the ball better. Uh, actually attacking the rim. Weston just needs to settle down a little bit. Championship game. A lot of nerves, a lot of energy. Three ball. Got it. Uh, All right, Monday. That cuts the lead just up. Move the ball. Try to move the ball. Robinson and a foul. A lot of people didn't like the foul call. That's going to be a foul every time that head comes down. So Tony West is going to the game. I feel like the matchup they had in the summer with Holly, they were going to be a little bit more experienced. We'll see how that does for them in this game because for so many years, Weston was the one that was the best in the team. They always had the players. But the tide has turned in the last few years. Absolutely, but, but I'm sure that, that uh, the staff at Western, even though they say that, they're expecting their, their team to come out and play hard and play well. And, uh, you know, it's time that, that, you know, to see Polly really get over that hump. That's a three. No good. I uh, don't really know if that's a shot that you would like to take. Oh, okay. 15, 16 seconds left in a, in, a, in a quarter. You definitely want to try to hold for the last shot. But again, they're a young team, so that's to be expected. Question about that. 6-5. Still. Over to Pryor. Can she get it up in time? And a smart foul there by Pollard. It's a good outlet pass. It's a really, really good outlet pass. Two dribbles, kick the ball up. I'd love to see him finish that. Maybe she go to the free throw line and make these two free throws. Just for instance with little Mama. Coach Armstrong. She's going to be the one. She's the next one, man. She's, she's really, really, and she's gotten taller. She's gotten taller. Um, she's filling out a little bit. Um, so, so as she continues to play, continues to get in the weight room, continue to work on the game, she's going to be a joy to watch. Again, really, really good for basketball here in the city of Baltimore as well. The NF1, Polly, trying to win their fourth, their third straight city title. They're up by seven here against Western second quarter. Coming up. Court underway, Weston has the ball, down seven. And we've seen Weston get a couple of quick points there in the quarter out, Coach Armstrong. We're like now they're trying to set up some offense. Uh, I think 
Western's gonna have to move the ball. Just standing dribbling is not gonna work. Gonna have to, it's a zone. So the only way to be effective in the zone is to make the zone move. As we come down, Western goes right into a 2-3 zone. Ball gets to the elbow, should reverse it. On the reverse, it should be shooting it. Patty tried to go inside. And a travel. That's what the zone defense does for the ball, uncharacteristic stop. Once the ball goes into the two defense, the ball needs to reverse, catch and shoot. Don't put it back on the floor. Skip. If you look at the defense, the whole defense is here, the ball needs to be reversed. Lily trying to make West into a shooting team. That's going to be two shots coming up there. I mean, again, I think it's a great camaraderie. Young lady went to the floor, and everybody from both teams went to help, help pick her up. So again, these two teams share the same building. Share the same building, man. So they're, they're really, really good friends. So I'm really glad to see them all uh, right now in, in this venue. Again, shout out to Morgan State University. That's right, that's right. Shout out to Morgan State University. Just had a game here last night against uh, Delaware State. And turned the place back over for the boys and girls championship games here. And we'll talk about the state playoffs a little later, which highly Western in their respective 3A and 4A. There is big rebound. That was a huge rebound. Big rebound. Prior and this time, it was Johnson. She couldn't get it in. Patty put it on the floor to pass. Wow. Good D. It's a turnover. It's really, really good D. It's just love to see. Just, I would love to see, again, the freshman going and dapping the team. Man, man, don't worry about it. Let's keep going. She is the next one. No doubt. No doubt about that. Got to see Big Mom in the middle school showcase a couple years ago. And Stay down. And that was a treat. Indeed, you see the future there. Hustle big time. It stays with Polly still. There's only 11 seconds on the shot clock. The longer it's close, that plays way into the hands of West. Patty swings it. They got to put it up. Missed it high there with Robinson. Got it. Again, that's one of those situations. Catch the ball, got to be able to shoot it. Especially when you're talking about, you know, an older team like Polly, one, you know, one seniors wanting to play at the next level, you got to be able to catch a shoot. Clark with the rebound, she's doubled and she gives it up to Wilson. Still waiting for her to get started tonight. Wilson! Travel. And the defense of Weston has made things very difficult in the last couple sessions here. Uh, absolutely. And the ball back to Polly as that just threw it up his own once again playing dividends. Again, you know, Weston is doing a great job of attacking the defense. Now kick the ball out, let the shooter shoot it, and then play from there. Patty with a lane. She's shooting two. That's a layup that she has to finish. That's a layup that she has to finish. And that's it. If the game continues to go on, she'll start to make it. Oh, we're going to real quick in contact. First shot in there. Howard, 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 undefeated going into 4A playoffs to them and Weston be on a collision course with each other. Wow. Front end miss. Snatches the rebound away was McMurray. And now to Pryor. Good job. See you leadership. You gotta pass that ball. Got to. I mean, you, you, you're in the paint, four on one. You gotta pass the ball. Like, stop, stop with the outside basketball. The referee's not gonna call that. You're out of control. Now Wilson slows things up. Jumper. That one tipped and missed there for Gross. Patty with the rebound. Shooting two. Good move by the senior. You're well aware of Patty's uh, Absolutely. athleticism and. I think there, that was that was the uh, I got a chance to coach her when she was at the IMD. Uh, a very 
well-spirited young lady, works hard, uh, a joy to coach, and it's really a joy to watch her play. And I'm so thankful that she's going to the next level and is going to have an opportunity to turn the ball out. First shot goes in. And, you know, it's disappointing to see that the Bishop Walsh uh, invitation is not taking place this year. So many, so many good girls teams in this area. Yeah, you know, with uh, New Hope and Bishop McNamara, I've done a couple of their games in the last couple of weeks. St. John, St. Francis. You know, just sad to not see them. All them teams, Riverdale Baptist especially, all them teams get together. You know? Yeah, I wonder why, why we didn't have it this year. They didn't say. I guess they said a couple teams have backed out. Not sure which teams they are. But we hope that tournament returns back next year. Oh, what a move by the little mama and Clark. Coming to the line to shoot. I mean, right now, the Western just kind of work to lead down. Want to get underneath, want to be underneath in single digits by halftime. Just keep working and playing, keep scrapping, keep fighting around. And again, I think Western's playing without their head coach right now, and, and you know they're trying to, to just rebuild that and get past that man and move forward. And so to be in this game is a wonderful accomplishment for them. Without second shot, did not go. Nice grab of the rebound there by Deja Town. Wilson, back over to Gross. Inside, and Towns is coming to the line to shoot two. So Polly has struck the lineup, Coach Armstrong. What do you think about that? I'll tell you what. Another senior put it in the hole, got down with a wide body, demanded the ball, got it, and went right to the rim. So right now, Polly seems to have more size than Western does. They're using like You see Petty had a couple of good shots at the rim, and, and now Miss Wilson is there. So just got to get it. Just got to get it going down in the hole. I think Wesley should pack it. Pack his own and make him shoot the jump. So they agree one of two at the line, and that brings the lead back to 10. About halfway done here in the first half. Over prior. Up. Ah. Tip the miss. Almost had it in there. We're going to get back on D. We're going to get back on D. Can't teach that. Good move. Good move. Good move. Good move. Little mama coming right back at him. Here we go again. Getting off the foul. I'm going to be proud for both teams' defenses right now. They've gotten back and transitioned very well. Again, she's a baby. She's a baby. Next year, she'll understand. I'm going to hop step, kick to the corner, boom, get a jump shot. But just look at she missed the shot. She got back on defense. She gets the outlet, and now she's down. Putting pressure on the defense again. It's pretty amazing how quick she can be. Swings it over. That's a three for Clark. Spins out. Second one already that went in and out. So the Bills from Western are doing a great job of rebounding the ball. Turn over again. Towns back to Gross. Gross up and in. Again, Western makes a mistake. Probably capitalizes on the offensive end. Five-out situation versus uh, two-three for the one-two-two. Offense is really, really high. Can't shoot the ball from there. Jumper, tip the mess. Out of bounds, going back to the lady engineer. No. St. Ref had, had it going one way, now it's going back to West. You have the mind. Yes. <laughs> but again, I don't think that coach, that coach Kendall really liked the call. But at the same time, it's just energy and effort. Go attack the ball, secure the rebound. Prior from deep. Off the back. Nice rebound there by Wilson. Up there, Robinson. Back to Gross. And the ball stays with Polly. No contact there, Coach Stone. Hey. Championship game. Play through contact. Focus on the win. Make a layup. Again, West is not going to bag that. Probably not. Well, I said these two teams know each other so well. They're in the same building. Nice 
hustle by Cryer, almost forcing a tunnel. You know, I, I, I hate to say Lil Mama, but I tell you what, Lil Mama tough. She is tough, man. Great crowd. Yeah, really, really good crowd. Crowd's gonna get a little bigger for so the boys showdown with Miley and Lake Clifton. That's a warm. Going back to the Lady Engineers. Again, you know, five out versus a, the one, two, two. It's, it's, it's the offense is way too high. And, and Western is a drive, they're a drive to the basket team. They haven't seen only one or two jump shots tonight. I know it's funny in the JV uh, championship game yesterday, Polly beat Weston at City. <laughs> and then Polly Boys beat City Boys, so Polly's trying to do a four way sweep. I don't think that's ever happened here in the area. That's a pure domination. Inside, no good there for Henson. The pace favors Polly right now, definitely. Jumper, front end miss. Nice offensive rebound. Ball will stay with Powell. I don't, I don't know if the coaches from Polly are happy with uh, number 23 taking a jump shot there. They want to put the ball in the basket and attack the basket. Session to shine, and then got to pass that ball back. They was waiting for <laughs> again. You know, she just got yelled at, but she was jumping from the elbows, and she's like, I'm gonna go to the basket this time. So, I think after the halftime, everybody will settle down 23 to 11. It's not a lot of points right now. Defense has got Weston in this game. Ah, spin out. Rebound there to Wilson. Back over to Robinson. We can rewind what we just said in the last possession. Move the ball. I, I think that's, that's what we got to preach at halftime. Move the ball, move the ball, move the ball. But right now, like I said, they're just trying to fill each other out, man. This is a championship game. Everybody's real, everybody's real tight right now. That's a three. Off the back, no good. Henson tried to get the rebound for Weston and could not. Gross to Wilson. Good has old shooting too. It's one of the tight games. If you're not lightning quick. Nice home defense can get the Nice hesitation dribble at the elbow. Creating the space. Again, probably is pushing the ball. When it comes off the glass, they're outletting the ball and they're running. As opposed to Western, they're big. every time they lead on the ball, they take two or three dribbles and then they pass it to the uh, to the guard, so I think you get the ball off the glass, find little mama, let it go. Patty's back in the game for Towns. Second free throw goes. 24 11 game. Western, you don't want this to get too far upon your grass. Oh, that was a tough shot. And, and again, you had a cutter right to the basket. Make the pass. Out of bounds as Gray tried to pick it off. 109 left in the first half. Polly up by 13. That's a three. Missed it off the bat. The engineers get a get a gift. If I'm Western, I'm gonna make him shoot that shot. I'm gonna make him shoot it. We've been here what almost two quarters and we haven't seen one jump shot except that one from Polly in this game. Inside, nice back door, hit off the foot of Petty and the shot turned over. Henson. Makes the ass and pass. Inside, off the glass, no good. There's a great offensive rebound. Shooting two. It's pride. 
But again, Coach, I'm going to say it again. Great drive and kick to pass the ball to a wide open young lady. Shoot the ball. Five feet on the floor. He only five feet. Shoot whatever. He got heavy in there. He's six feet tall. He's got carrots. He's, you know, 5'10", five, 5'11". Five, and then he got... They jump just like they bigs. Right. So you, you really need to be right. smart. And I think that's what coach is telling you right now. Just shoot the ball on the elbow. If you make it, you make it. If you miss it, we play again. Two free throws there. Cuts the lead to 11. Boys champions in the house. Another turnover on Polly. Weston gets it back. Who's that? Oh, that's Polly's boys in the building. Okay. Get to see them against Lake Clifton here in the second matchup. And we'll talk about doing the second half of this one as well. You see, Weston can cut into this thing. They have it within single digits. Wow. Good defense there by Pollock. Again, I, I'm just not understanding the. I'm just not understanding the, the attack mode of Weston. I'm just not understanding. It. Clock tip the mess. Two, one, five. Make it there. It's halftime. Holly trying to make it a three peak. They're up by 11 here over Weston and Robinson. Headed to BWD with that about when you had a second half of this. Underway tomorrow, it's Guy, Coach Chris Armstrong here with you. We had an extended halftime, which we love. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. What do you think happened between uh, Weston there? One thing I know happened is they're moving the ball better. Woo! Yes. The ball better. What a three. Travel. Weston definitely have went to the locker room. The improvements are showing dividends already. Absolutely. They're not as high offensively. Move the ball, stop holding it, take the wide open shot, which is what Lil Mama just did. Ball came to him, bang, bang, knock it down. Third type of game. Pick and roll. All the way through, so almost went down. Gotta make that call, ref. That is a foul. But again, I'm up here, so <laughs> Definitely was some content. Ain't no, ain't no lie about that. Clock again. Did not go. There comes head up, good pass. Nice pass. Good hand. Oh, the move. Oh, missed it high. Back over. Shooting two. Again, 
Weston is coming up with a little more bounce right now. He's getting up and down the floor, letting the ball out on the defense. Again, just young. One dribble, left hand layup. Let's get a hand one. Two trips. All right, all right. How about that? Six now. There you go. Wilson back to town. Town splits the defense and lays it in. You know she's been waiting for that all game. All night. And say, that's what happens when you're a senior. It's not going well for you. Let me get downhill and get to this back. Move the ball. Don't hold it. Move the ball. away by Petty and if you can't get that ball right away and get it out. Uh, she's hey, gonna be there to meet again. That's the senior that you know I'm here. It's still my house. I'm here. Although I'm, I'm visiting here. It's my house. Shot clock at 10. Swing it. Pryor in the corner for three. Hits oh, it. Movement. Come on, Let's go. I love, I love, everybody. I love both teams. I love both teams. I just love good basketball, and that was good basketball. Yeah. Ball to the elbow, what I tell you in the first half. When the ball comes out the elbow, catch and shoot it. Don't put it on the ground. We haven't said this yet, but we'll say it right now. Weston is cooking with all. <laughs> and now we've been five. Doubled. Penny inside. Yes, indeed. Probably goes to the 1 3 1 half court press. Pryor fakes on the baseline. Up. No good. Offensive rebound. That went up high. Whoa, what a fight! Fire oh, oh, Petty. And almost won the battle. I think the coach from Western is a little upset, but I wouldn't be upset about that because we're right in the game now. We're doing what we want to do. We're doing what we want to do. Now the ball is stagnant for power. The ball is stagnant. It's moving very slow. Clark from deep. She has not been able to hit that outside shot yet in this game. Freshman, right? Yep. Got a big shot for a freshman. It is. Whoa! Oh. Oh. That was a hard foul. Hey, I love the aggressiveness. Don't worry about getting hurt. I love the aggressiveness. Not going to give you the paint. I'm not going to get the ball up. I'm going to make you work. But you see Patty being who she is. Right off the floor, like I'm up, I'm good. First shot goes in. Second shot. Off the bat, goes in. Holly back up by eight, nine. Right up by right now. Nine. nine point lead. Weston's right at the doorstep. Right. Off the side, got to pass that back out. Thank you. There you go. Set up. Now. One more. Gotta reverse it. Prize open in the corner over there. Now she got it. Shot clock at four, though. Had to get, got to put it up. Shot clock violation. Good D. Good D. Again, West is young. Lost track of the top of the shot clock. 443 here left in the third. Side is Cuddy. She spins it in. There she go. Pass, no good. Offensive rebound. Walking high, did not go. Back over. Ooh, look out! Foul is called. Henson coming to line to shoot two. Hey, good hard seven. basketball. Everybody's gonna fight. Everybody's gonna play hard. You see, uh, Lake Clifton in the house. Fire. Haven't been in this game in a couple two. of years. Two. The Lakers, but. They got their task full tonight against Polly, which is nationally ranked. 
There's two teams back in December as well on the boys' side. And they could them slow the game down for a quarter and then Kylie's athleticism just took over. You know, I'll tell you what, I haven't seen Lake Lipton play since this. Oh, wow. I haven't seen them so great. Uh, they just reminded me of the old North Carolina Dean Smith uh, when I was watching it. But I'm really glad to see Lake Lipton back. Again, a small school, being in the championship game, it just lets us know, man. Athletics are fine, right? In Baltimore City. And Baltimore County as well. Athletics are fine. Speaking of Baltimore County, we'll have at the end of our boys game the scores from the county championship out there as well. That one goes in. That's a seven point game. I did Pikesville a couple weeks ago, folks, so I'm trying to tell you. Those dudes got it rolling out there. That Newtown Pikesville game was a matchup. Absolutely. I mean, he's doing a great job. Kids want to play for him. Change the culture of the basketball program. And I'm excited for him. And I hope he continues to get better. This lesson is no man, no, no, you know, everybody can't go right. St. Francis. Everybody can't go down. Right. Shout out to St. Francis, you guys are doing a great job. Five, five, five time I ate Tammy. Yeah. So those girls that don't go, they're going to those dudes, man, and he's putting something together really, really good. Yeah. Again, shout out to St. Francis. I don't want to go to St. Francis, but he's calling me sad. <laughs> I'm not being fair to you guys. You guys are a fantastic, not just a basketball team, but a basketball program. You guys do a great job down there at St. Francis. We know the boys program so well, the girls are so well down there. Good to see Pikesville Tommy. Oh my! Five shooting two. She went right on her head. And again. As, as pretty as that is, you drew too bad, you put the ball in the pocket, and she the layup. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's just young. She's young. She's just 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 same organization in AU, yeah. being trained by the same people. I see so much of it. And that's a testament again to, to uh, her training. Tap out, stays with Polly. Shout out to Anai. I know Pilati was upended by St. Francis again last week, but what a, what a senior campaign they had down there. A renaissance. For basketball, so for the last couple of seasons. Back inside Towns, up and in. Her spot right there goes on. The Absolutely. Again, when the ball reverses, you can get the ball to the middle and the elbow on the one, two, two. Every time, even the three, two, three, you can get the ball right in the elbow. And reverse the ball. Fire inside off the back, no good. Look at that, man. Tapped it back. To... We got a jump ball, man. like you just said. Make sure to kick that back. Draw two, kick. But again, they're babies, they're young. The footwork. That tip and miss that time. Ball. Nice. Mm. Foul against Robinson. That's her. That's her second. That's the team. Good side out here. Robinson. That's great. She's a junior, right? Yes. Good little player. Both teams so low. Proud from deep. Going back to the lady in the the fate with that three. I mean, you see right away, she takes a, she takes a shot, the ball doesn't go in, the first thing she does is chance she says, my bad, my bad, you know? And that's, that's big, man, for a freshman to have that type of mentality and insight. Robinson fakes it, pulls up, spins out. Offensive rebound, tried to save it, but Ferguson is going back to the Two minutes left here in the third. 
where folks, this one is still within striking distance. Yeah. Somebody should have took that shot there. Yeah, I never want to leave you, Pete. Oh, wow. You know, just both teams right now trying to push. Just trying to push. Just settle down a little bit. Polly knows that they're going to come down. Uh, Weston's going to play the 2-3. Uh, Give Miss Towns right at their elbow again, and then they're going to work. There's no reason to change it. No reason to push. Sure, right. so play. It's not like both teams trying to impose their pace on the other. That's a three. It's off the back. No good there. The gray offensive rebound goes in. No, it did not. My apologies. That's oh, how it's done. And a bucket. The fight of Weston. I'll tell you what, the first rebound was fantastic. The physicality was a big thing. She didn't finish, but she, she, she dominated that class. Her teammate kept her head up and makes a layup. Hey, Weston is right here. They are right here. It is a six point game again. Clark. Trying to get it over to Penny. Pull up. Just a miss. Here. You Henson, you might want to slow it down a little bit. You got the foul call. <laughs> I agree. One on three. I, I thought she was going to pull it back. But you know what? She, she just made the basket. I think you get the three point play. Oh, She's feeling good about herself. We're, you know, we're, we're within six. We're going to keep going. We're going to push the pace and make them play at our pace. Girls, of course, trying to win 3-8. They were so close last year. Frederick got him at the end. We got to see Frederick earlier this year. See that uh, number 24. She's amazing, by the way. I can't think of her name. Probably. It's pretty amazing. Oh, 0 for 2 at the free throw line. Yeah. Got to make free throws. You want to win. Yes, indeed. And the game with points are important. That was huge. Turnover. Back to Henson again. Henson this time tries to slow it down. Time out by Weston. 52.9 left. And on the boys' side, the great college run has been. You know how many city towns they have in the last few years? They wasn't able to get here last year. Then two years ago, they beat Dunbar. Give me for that. Two years ago, they lost to Patterson in the championship game when it was still division one of the division two. They're trying to win their third championship in five years on the boys' side. I remember the um, we used to do a summer camp over right here at Morgan State University. Coach Brian, huh? and and my daughter came to the camp, ah. and, and he's doing great things at Poly. Again, they have they have really built a basketball program there. High Potts tried to put it back up, and a foul is called. That's the 16th foul against Polly. One more is going to be the one and one the rest of the game. I tell you, you know, the youth, the youth of Western is, is really showing. And now two on one again. There should have been a layup in the basket instead. I went between two people and tried to. I don't know what it was, but that's just not going to get him in the game. It's not going to give him the win. Right. Probably a good team. So you got to do the right thing. Fire. Long pass to Henson. Doubled. Doubled. Travel. Thought when Pry had that long cross court pass, maybe should have put him on the floor and shot it. But again, she's trying to do the right basketball thing. She drew two, she was going to kick. He just got to get some more height, some more strength with it. Shot clock is 
off. Gamecock running down. That tipped and missed. That's going to be the end of three. Wow. But again, now the game's going to be two. It's a little tight on the jump shot right now. And Western's starting to feel better and better. Now we got a poly Western close game. Absolutely. And the fourth quarter coming at you here. Absolutely. Absolutely. Fourth quarter here underway. District 9, Bowman City Championship Games in Pauling Weston for a seventh straight year. Was on strong. Weston got themselves off the deck back in this game. How are they going to continue? But I, I, I tell you what, sorry to cut you off. Go ahead. I think one of the great things they did was they started to move the ball offensively. They started to move the ball offensively. Oh, baby. That's a good shot. It's a shot they went in. And that's all that matters. That it is. Two point game. What defense here by Weston. That's a timeout by Polly. 7.18 left in the Polly has had to be throughout the whole game the closest Weston has been since the tip. Right now, I think that Polly Senior. Gotta take over. Now, coach. Yep. Senior leadership right now. Senior leadership. Ms. Wilson. Ms. Town. Ms. Cuddy. Right now. They got a real good team. Oh! There's a line I always say over the years. The stars have to be stars. Hey, when them lights come on, yep. you gotta be ready. The line and the time is now for Polly to defend their championship. In the city. Towns! Front and miss. Offensive rebound. And a fresh shot clock. Petty. Good. Let's do it again. Here comes Pryor. Weston can take the lead with a three. Ah, oh, missed it off the hand. There was the tie. But again, it's a baby doing the right thing. It came down to a point. She's going to make the pass. Just going to say before um, Petty went on the bench, Petty and Towns was in the game at the same time. It usually don't happen a lot. Reverse that English on there, man. Reverse that English on there, man. Just told you. The senior leadership has to play in order for Polly to win this game. Exactly right, that. And she finishes a three point play. 39 34 lead for Polly. It's a five point game. Somebody has to get to the elbow. Gotta move the ball. Don't hold it. You don't have a shot. Move it. Move it. Move it. Move it. Shooting two. Maybe not what the doctor had in mind, but it will get you at the line. But you know what, coach? I hear their bench saying, there you go. I think that's what they want. I think they want her to do exactly that. Create in traffic. And see what she's trying to foul. And if that's what they've done all year, don't change it now. Can't change the personality. Don't change it now. And now. Okay. Now shout out to some of the other city schools, Forest Park, that had a magnificent run. When the division switched up, it just been stuck with, on the side of Weston. I hadn't been able to get over that hump, but Forest Park has a very good program. They went far last year in the state playoff. They're in 2A this year. They're looking to challenge Pikeville, which has moved up from 1A to 2A as well. Good ball movement. Travel. Come on, we got to shoot. Wilson from deep. Check the mess. Smart to let that one just go out of bounds. Oh, Wilson and Wilson gets it back. Down by three. 
it's crazy because the, the coach from Weston is screaming travel uh, every time the young lady gets the ball from pilot number 20. It appears that she may take a, an extra step, but he's been screaming the whole game, so obviously she's not doing it because right. it hasn't been called. Toss it back for the tie. Tipped and mess. The follow was Wilson back to Robinson to the basket and shooting two. Our city's girl program is on the rise as well. I mean, again, I think I think I keep saying it all the time. Basketball is, is very is very well in Baltimore. It's, it's, it's doing okay. There's no. There are some teams that are favorites, right. but basketball is alive and well on both the boys and girls side in, uh, in America. I definitely agree in to Baltimore. that. And I'm going to talk about Baltimore. I'm going to talk about the entire you know, state of America. I'm talking about Baltimore, City, and County. Second shot didn't go. We got a four-point game. Uh, Henson turns it up. Got it in prize hands. And a reach out. That's going to be the one and one. Five minutes and 41 seconds left, and uh, West is in the bonus. about the, the girls enter the state playoffs. Western Tech, they're playing high school as we speak now. Ball back to power. Point game. That's right where we ended the half at a quarter round, I'm sorry. That's a foul. That's the 15 pounds. Might be four. Yep, it's the, yeah. And again, I'm just not understanding. She has not. It's been clear as I think she is. She hasn't even jumped shot as I did. So how far are you closing out? Make her shoot the basket. I mean, you, we're watching the same game, right? Same agree. Hey, come on. Same She's a very good player. But right now, the championship game is a little tight. So make her shoot the ball. Make her shoot a jump shot. Second shot makes us a six-point game and does. Right now, Weston got to get the ball in no amount of hands. They got to they gotta get her the ball. All of the other stuff is it's cool, but she has to touch that ball. Up in the air. No good. Back the other way. Long pass. Went on the outside of Cold Spring Lane to him as Weston gets it back. Great idea, great thought. Just took her eye off the ball. You know, I, again, I'm a football coach, so any, anytime you take your eyes off of it, it's going to be tough to catch it. You see now Weston's right back to the same stagnant offense they had earlier. Move the ball. It's not one-on-one. -on -one. Pick and roll. Ah, oh, went over the rainbow. No good. Good thought, man. Again, a long pass. Again, it goes down. Helen Road and the ball back to Weston hey. again. Again, four minutes and 57 seconds inside the championship. Right now, every, the ball is heavy. The rim seems, seems smaller. Just got to keep working. Both teams are in good positions right now. Definitely agree. Weston trying to regain the crown they've had several years. Riley has won it in the last two years. Robinson got it away from the trouble. 4.30 left in. Oh, good D. Wilson. Good D. Come out by. That's a good one. You know what we haven't said anything about, folks? We got two ceiling teams out here, man. They really, really, really going at it right now. Man. They're going to look at the 3A picture. And I course, this year, like in football, they're going back to 2A. 
That's another senior. That's a senior. Mm -hmm. In order for them to win, the senior is going to have to bucket. Big bucket down here. Three point down here. The right back goes directly to the basket. When Pilot and Wesley get together, you know it's going to be winning. Second shot. Got him out. Nice water. Four point game. 2.48 left. They're in the first of two city championship games. Pass it back and does. Dawson pulls up the three. That time, not there. Patty with the rebound over to Wilson. To Robinson. Robinson up. And it's going back to Weston. Good time out by West. Uh, One of the assistant coaches is saying that. He exactly is saying that. West is exactly saying we've been playing up here. And I'd be saying that. Look, I act like I'm coaching and I apologize. They've got to move the ball. They're playing the two, three, two zone. Holding the ball doesn't make a difference. And even though it may appear man to man, it's not. When you get on the floor with a squeeze, right? Put the ball on the floor, keep it or skip it, and let's play. Let's play. I think one thing that probably does what happens in the Western game is probably a ball share. They really want a ball share. West is one one. And again, I haven't seen them until today. They're doing a great job in this game, being down to the floor. I'm sure everybody came in here thinking probably was going to win. After DJ St. Francis and things like that. Eight on the shot clock here. We know you can't hold the ball in this situation. Fire! For three! Shooting three! At the line. That's about how you want to commit right there. First shot in the The sophomore baited the senior there. Yes. <laughs> hey, same AAU organization and everything. <laughs> and they do know each other well. Second shot there. say this because I've seen them the last couple years. This ain't nothing new between these two. <laughs> Third one. Go! Oh, the drama. That was. It's on now. Here at the Hillfield House. Clark. Almost got it tucked over. Freshman playing huge minutes right now. And in to Petty. Back over. Towns. Hits it. for the rebound and could not grasp it. Oh. You know one thing I love about that young lady? She times her jump very, very well. She, she reads the flight of the ball. Wilson. Back to Robinson. 113 left. Robinson. Lost it, but they were able to get it back. Nice hustle by Henson. Ball was stayed. But Holly, where he took his glove on the side. You know, if you notice, 
a big game. All the coaches are. Yes. Shooting two is Patty. You know this is a big game when all the coaches are standing up. They ain't lying about that. All the assistants are standing up. Yeah.
it. And now finally Pryor fouls the freshman. So a lot of time went off. Time for the guy fouled early. I'm, 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 I'm cool with that. I don't like Cache giving that ball up right there to a freshman. I don't like it. But again, I'm not coaching it. But this freshman's played big all year. So you know what? He may knock these down. It's the first. Hey. Seems like set up, go. You're right. You're right. One possession game, y'all yep. can hit it. Can make it a two possession game. She does! Two by the Holly oh. takes her last time out. At 10.7 left. What's the idea? Get some quick. You gotta get back to foul, hopefully.
election Monday in the state quarter, the state regional semifinals. So in Xavier Varsity, Polly is three for three. But the one title they haven't had in at least a couple years is the boys' championship, which that was the one thing they was denied a year ago. Let's see if the Polly and their boys can complete the four piece. They go up against the traditional rival Lake Clifton. Has been in this title game many years, Coach Tree. This year, first of all, being the likes of Everson Murrow and City. We will have that one coming up at you within the next half an hour. Until then, so long. This is Die Sporting Network. What, what, what?